Here is my solo sailing cooking system. Notice I have a C-swing stove. This, this connects to a bracket on the boat and it swings in both directions. It's gimbaled. And I've got a uh, butterfly kerosene stove. It does come with a little directional piece here that directs the heat up, but it's not very long. So I decided to build my own. Not a big deal, just a piece of a tin can. Uh, although I don't know whether tin cans are made out of tin anymore, they're just a name. Uh, and when I put it in the right position, <laughs> sorry, trying to do this with one hand, when I put it in the right position, it, it, uh, it directs the heat up farther towards the pot. Uh, the other choice was to get a little spacer down here, another pipe spacer up about an inch to move it up and I'll still probably look on the internet for something like that. So this is my system, my cooking stove. Originally I bought this little stove, little pot, which is really nice. Comes with a lid and a stringer and uh, great for boiling water, making pasta, uh, making it, it makes uh, rice very nicely. Works well. I also have a little spacer that I put in and this way I can put stews or something in my little camp kit here. Again, I've got the, uh, the little plastic piece taken off of this. So I can put uh, stews and whatever in there, soups. Seal it up so not too much water gets in when it's boiling. Put hot boiling water in here, drop that in, put the top on, let it boil. Uh, don't have to worry about maintaining uh, a watch on it because uh, you know if I get busy in the cockpit as long as it's boiling it's not going to overcook um, works well I end up with water for I end up with food I end up with water for tea and some water to clean up with works well but I also would like to make some more substantial meals and so I went out and I got this Hawkins uh, two liter pressure cooker the first thing is this is solid I mean uh, I don't ever want my wife to get mad and pick this up and hit me with it because man, it'll, it'll, it'll really hurt. You can see the bottom here has a very thick uh, layer to it. It's stainless steel, very nice pot. Even without the pressure cooker top on it, it would make an excellent pot. Um, I yesterday sauteed some onions in here, browned some chicken, put in the rest of my ingredients for chicken cacciatore sauce put the pressure cooker on, and in five, I think it was seven minutes total, um, I had myself a meal. Uh, I actually made the, the pasta over here. I used two burner stove, which would be a little different on the boat. I would probably make the pasta first, um, or maybe make the sauce first, put it in a blanket, keep it warm in the pressure cooker, and then make my pasta se second. But the first thing you notice is that it fits extremely well. The first one here, pot, is a little bit smaller. It actually almost fits into the pressure cooker. And uh, it's got a little bit of wiggle room. Not a big deal, uh, but the pressure cooker is heavier, solider, and fits in better. Um, it does come with a spacer, so I can put that in there. If I wanted to put uh, vegetables in here, and not have them sitting in the water because you don't need that much water when you're doing pressure cooking. Um, the other nice thing is that my little uh, camp kit here fits in there as well. And if I wanted to, I could do the same thing that I'm doing with this. Uh, boil water uh, and heat up my, my stews. But I think the pressure cooker is more designed for cooking than just heating them up. Um, it does come with the pressure cooker lid. A Hawkins lid, you put it in sideways or on an angle, and then you pop it in. Uh, very simple, I like it. Oops. A big part of what I like about it is that the more pressure this builds up, the stronger the seal, because you're putting the, the lid underneath the lip. And of course, it's got the little weight on top. So this is my system. I've tried them out. They work very well. Uh, so I'm ready to go sailing and eating this summer 
and have a, some good meals.